what's up y'all another week another geek welcome back to the why i'm geek show with your homie z and chrissy why this is episode 96 episode 96 we're almost to 100 bean and this episode is gonna be a little little different something we haven't done before but before we get into it chris how you feeling today brody i'm feeling pretty good watch a little bit of basketball okay, uh, okay. pretty pretty hyped because my sports bets are coming through for another <laughs> year i have the denver nuggets and miami heat okay uh, since the beginning of, of may i think i placed it the second and mm. it's, it's coming true so i'm about to end up on a double win no matter what so uh when okay. we link up and do our our normal uh nba finals at mgm i think we just go to like the the taps yeah. lounge or whatever yeah I'm, I'm gonna be happy that day so <laughs> mr parlay himself yes yes <laughs> <laughs> All right, but um, today, 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 we ain't going to talk about no basketball. We're going to be talking about some cars. Fast X has hit theaters this week, and I saw it. But guess what, y'all? Chris did not, and that is what we're going to be here to talk about today. I'm putting my cape on because I just keep going to see it. I don't know. It's I like it. I like it, and I'll, and I'll start with that. But, Chris, I just want to know, just for clarification purposes, when was the last, what was the last Fast and Furious you've seen or went to see in theaters? Uh, so I, I legit brought up a chart to see which one was <laughs> the last one I saw in theaters. And I'm yeah. pretty positive the last one I saw in theaters was either Fast and Furious 6. Mm-hmm. Because I think I saw Furious Seven on TV, which is the legendary one. Yeah. But I have also seen Fate of the Furious, and that's when I stopped. And okay. <laughs> so I think the one after Paul Walker. Yeah. Is is the that movie is the last one I ever saw, and I was just like, mm -hmm. I am a hundred percent good with this franchise. <laughs> um, and I don't even remember my reaction to any of them. Mm -hmm. you're seeing them i think it was just one of those saturday morning uh time at the movies so Word. have you seen all of them in theater no <laughs> okay okay no but i have seen the last two yeah in theaters for sure but prior to that i was kind of like you where i was like i'll see them whenever i saw them type b and that's kind of my whole uh interaction with them up until i really started like getting into movies and stuff like that and, and reviewing them um, because that that kind of leads me into my first point. But before we do, this episode is different because usually we come on here and we talk about something we both seen. Most of the time we see those things. If it's a movie, most of the time we see them together. But this time we didn't see it together. One of us haven't seen a movie. So it's it's finna be interesting. So we're kind of going to talk about the movies a little bit specifically. Um, but at the same time, just more so like just Fast and Furious a franchise as it stands right now because I don't know it's like the it's like everywhere I look I kind of see like either people are like oh dang they keep doing it they keep doing it and then other people is like you had one job one job <laughs> for this to be the last one so it's just a lot of things come with you know whether we're talking about Fast and Furious where there's like long running franchise or Marvel, you know, but my first point and that I want to talk about is that this movie probably has like in recent memory, my favorite like storyline. And the reason why I say that is because like Fast and Furious is always, you know, more on the, ambiguous side of things like they kind of just like show you everything but just leave it up to your own discretion that's kind of where i feel like people get leave leave with a bad taste in their mouth because it's just like yo there's so many things that is not possible that is happening with them driving these cars and whether you know they have superhuman strength or invulnerable to just about anything but for me like that's what makes it fun 
And it's because of the, the way I go into these movies. I think we got, we get to see another one. What are they going to do this time? Versus like, no, nah, man, it's about the streets. Da, 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 da. Like, it's what happens to the racing and all that. But this movie, this Fast X, the 10th one, has the best storyline because it connects this whole mythos from, you know, 1 to 10, essentially. And it brings everything full circle without it being like, I guess, super long and like, kind of like, talking heads but not in an interesting way like there's a lot of there's a, the stakes are super high but also the, like i feel like chat gg jack chat gpt could have written this movie like that's how that's how I, I feel like i can describe it but um chris like so what what made you stop kind of going to see these like what, what what was it about it was it just the fact that paul walker wasn't gonna be in it or like you got me it? bro i mean you you said exactly it uh, <laughs> what happened to the street racing what happened to the original like narrative they had going for them yeah i kind of feel like they definitely just started taking the bag and saying people just want to see better cars faster cars shinier things mm -hmm. uh, crazier stunts and it it went from like that street racing um solving mystery or helping out the police or not helping out police or or stopping street gangs to it's an action movie like yeah. th th this franchise is 100 percent an action movie and i do agree with you if you're gonna go see fast and furious movie you you want to see pretty much what are they going to do next like mm -hmm. what but geez they they just started reaching into ridiculousness and <laughs> they, they do have invulnerability bro you you're hitting a lot of reasons why i just don't <laughs> I just don't care about the franchise anymore because they they add the, these characters that are cool characters, but mm -hmm. they just do video game stuff and yeah. with cars. <laughs> so <laughs> I I just was completely like, I don't care whenever a new one pops in on the screen. I remember when Fast 9 was appearing. I remember right. when Fast X just appeared on the screen. I was just like, bro, they're just never stopping. This, like this, this There's going to be a Fast 16. I don't know what they're going to call it, but it's going to make sense. And you just got me. That that's the main reason why I didn't go. And will I see it? Maybe one day. But I still haven't yeah. seen. I haven't seen Hobbs and Shaw. I I haven't seen that one. What? Okay. Yeah. So I haven't seen that nine, and uh, the, the well, this new one X. So okay. It, it's it's tough. It's it's kind of like one of those things. Like maybe one day I'll get around to it and watch mm -hmm. them, but. For me to go to the theater day one, <laughs> no, nah, it was not gonna happen. <laughs> not even Matt and Nay, y'all. Not even Matt and Nay. Um, cause I even I even put it in the chat. I was like, Fast X with the, with the eyes, young. but him and Tyler was like, nah. <laughs> I was like, dang. But um, so we hit we've hit the surface, right? Of like you know the reasons why people are you know not really excited about fast x and fast and furious movies but one thing you can't say is that it was a it was a bag move but also they didn't spin that bag in like you know pretty good ways i mean the the level of quality of the of the most recent movie and then the level of the cast was ridiculous bro like They've added Jason Momoa. They've added Jason Statham. They've added The Rock. They've added uh 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 what's her name? Um Brie Larson. Like there's a lot of names. Big bag names that will keep you invested. And there's some names I even I even put in here yet just because you ain't seen the movie. I still want it to be a surprise. You know what I'm saying? But this movie it just it gives you everything bruh like it gives you everything you were looking for in an action movie and if you just sit down and turn your brain off you will enjoy it <laughs> you... and that, that, that is a thing uh, i mean i don't know if it's ever come across in the videos this way but i've talked about mm -hmm. this with my roommates at one time 
Yeah. That I am not one that turns their brain off. When I, watch a movie. <laughs> I just think when you turn your brain off for certain movies, it just tilts your scale because you know you're you wouldn't turn your brain off on other movies. But yeah, I do know what you're talking about. Like it as a new action movie that the Fast and Furious franchise has become. Right. It is one of those movies that you just turn your brain off and yeah. just say, "Hey, I had a good time." Yeah, it's just like playing Call of Duty, bro. Like. You don't go on every yep. Call of Duty thinking like, oh man, this is exactly what happens. And it like, I'm trying to play, stuff. you <laughs> know, <laughs> like, so it's like, I don't know. Once, once I like step away from that, because I don't know if it's, you know, uh, you know, Vin Diesel's kind of just like delivery and like how every line has to be a one liner that you can put on the back of a cereal box. But it works for me, you know, because I don't look at it and be like, ain't no way he's going to say this. Cause I, like, because I said before, like, Chat GBT could have wrote this movie, right? I was in there thinking, like, saying the lines before he said it based on, like, what, you know, was actually happening. But for me, it's not so much about what Vin Diesel says as Dominic Toretto, but it's about, like, his philosophy and just trying to see if family can actually beat everything. You know what I'm saying? Like he has a motto. He is the main character. He is goaded, bruh. Like what what are we gonna do? What are we talking about? And then you add Jason Momoa as the villain. Now, if you seen I don't damn what which one it was off the top of my head, but it was like the one where they were in Rio. Do you remember that one? Is that six? I don't know. I don't remember. But that's besides the point. The one, the Fast and Furious where they was in Rio and they stole the safe out of the police station. That's five. Five? Okay. That is kind of where this movie takes place. Essentially, like, it's based off of that. And Jason Momoa's character named Dante is the son of the um, bad guy from that one, essentially. Yeah, they showed and, that in the trailer. Yeah, and he's basically getting revenge um, for his dad because revenge can't be paid in murder. It has to be through suffering. So what are we talking about? How does that not sell you as far as like, yo, I don't know, that's like, that's like kind of like that. That sounds pretty cool to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We battling with philosophies, family versus family. You know what I'm saying? Dad versus son. And it's just it it it's it it does what it needs to do, y'all. I'm just I'm just trying to Chris, you're gonna have to start fighting back at some point, man, because I feel like I'm I feel like I'm getting to it. Do you guys have any retort to what I'm spitting right now? I mean, you sound very convincing. It seems like uh you're on the side that everyone should start going back to see these fast and furious movies yeah man i mean it's 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 good oh, it's good it's good it's, it's good. good it's good right like literally bro like bro the lore for me what really got me in this movie was the lore because the lore runs deep and it's not even just like a history thing it's how everything is connected from like the last well since from the beginning, honestly, how, you know, it started off as just regular street racers. Then they evolved to doing heist and working for the government, then working against the government. And now kind of everybody's somewhat retired, but like focused on the next generation. Like what more can you ask for, bro? What more can you ask for, Chris? I'm just, I'm just saying, bro. And then. Like I said before, like it leaves you with enough of like everything to question. Like, dang, are they gonna make another one? Like, can they make another one? But but that's <laughs> it right there. They're gonna make another one. Like, <laughs> they didn't stop after seven. <laughs> they even had a spinoff. I mean, they're just gonna keep yeah. going, and and they're just gonna come up with another. There's gonna be fat AI next. Is it? There's no stop in this franchise. They're just going to keep doing what they want because they have all the stars. They're just going to bring in more stars. And yeah, I mean, I'm glad that you did enjoy it. But 
to me they just ha- they just have a huge storyboard on they put have family there and then they just think about <laughs> a new thing you know family betrays family like that that's yeah. that's gonna be the next one and then it's like extended family fast x like <laughs> I, I don't know what's bad about that though nothing i'm just saying that it's, they're just gonna keep going and just throw whatever they want to on the board mm-hmm. uh Chat GPT, what 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 should we do? <laughs> they should have never came you know, out with Chat GPT. Fast EV, like I don't I don't know. See where I think because they've already gone to space, right? Yeah. They went to space one time. Yeah. So going into this movie, I was kind of like, okay, what? How are they going to top that? You know? And basically, what they did is they brought it back to the origins. This movie has a lot more racing and actual like car chases and stuff then i can't even count like on the amount of my hand like when the last time a movie uh, a fast and furious movie felt like this because one of my biggest issues with the with nine and and eight was just like yo when did they become mercenaries (laughs) you know (laughs) like they just out here ready to catch bodies left and right bro and i get that you know Things cost money and things come at a price of like, okay, what are the different ways we can innovate um, for this movie? And, you know, they went to space and now they went back to the past. But the next thing is the only thing left they can do, bro, is time travel. Like, that's that's it. That's the next thing. It has to be, bro. It has to be. Especially the way the movie ended. It's like, bro, only that's the only way you're going to be able to save youngins, really. Because in this movie, they kind of, like, dealt with loss in a certain way, but not really because it's, like, they kind of leave it up in the air. I was like, oh, you know, this person, you know, floated, but they might have found a way that, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, the vulnerability thing, like, you just never really know. For sure, it's not you never know. It's they, they're not gone. <laughs> they're just not. <laughs> like... Don't trust nothing they show on screen because maybe three movies in the future they're gonna show the real scene and it's like oh they're fine they they hit under the like uh under the the street with down the sewer pipe or something like that and they <laughs> pop back up on the street and they're like I'm fine I'm back yeah like, and then maybe they're actually the villain in one of the movies and you're like oh changes everything no <laughs> okay okay. Okay. So, is it because their creativity that you just don't want to see it? Or is it because it doesn't give you necessarily a reason to care? What is what is the thing? Yeah, what is the I, thing? I just don't even care how it Dang. Goes. I feel oh like we, my God. I feel like they've gone through <laughs> their storyline enough mm-hmm. and that. I felt like they had a, a great way to, to finish it off and it was already kind of at its at its legs where wow they're just at the point where they're just ma- they just keep making they just keep making but then it really felt like a good start or finish and then okay maybe spinoffs come you know they, they always do stuff like that mm-hmm. but now it's just a, a straight on action movie like they just want to show what they can do with cars the craziest stuff they can do with cars and I, of course, I haven't seen this one, but this one does seem like another action movie where they had the dude exploding the stuff in, what is it, the Vatican, I think, in Rome? Yeah. Where were they? Yeah, they were in Rome. They were in Rome. And, and oh, this is the the biggest bad guy. This is the last <laughs> ride. It's just the same thing again and again. I'm like, there is the family aspect. It's just again and again. I, and I'm I'm just kind of like, you're. They're not gonna show me anything that's gonna like blow my mind or make me feel mm-hmm. like, oh, hey, maybe, maybe I may take a peek at it. But it, it just feels like they're just they're just on a loop. They're on a loop, and they know it's gonna make money. They know people just want to see what the craziest stuff they can do with cars. And if you throw in a little action scene, mm-hmm. uh, they're cool with it. And I mean, that's their niche. That's cool. Right. So it's not so much of a vendetta thing. It's more so just like uh, I kind of outgrew this style sure. of storytelling. It, it, it kind of reminds me of like 
you know, like like people talk about Marvel all the time, and me and you, huge Marvel fans. Mm. But like, at least for me, like I, there's like a journey you you go on when you watch one Marvel movie to the next, and it's like, oh, this is leading into a bigger picture, and then maybe one day down the road, it's you get the big payoff, kind of like what we got in Infinity War. Now, when mm-hmm. did we know that when we really saw Iron Man, Thor's, and Captain America's? Yeah, we didn't, but we knew Avengers was coming out, and we knew that they all would be on it. So it was mm-hmm. it was kind of cool. With fat with Fast and Furious, I just I do not care what this final destination is because I just don't think it's gonna be a payoff. It's not no One Piece where we're gonna find out what the One Piece is, or mm-hmm. are you gonna become Hokage? No, it's just the next agenda, the next mission, and then is the family gonna come on on top? And I'm like, bro, we we got this. How many more times are you going to do it? In my estimation, probably four to five more times. I'm, I'm not lying. <laughs> they're just going to keep doing it. And they're going to just add more uh, celebrities. Like they're, they're, It's an action movie that can't be stopped. You're just going to keep making them. Kind of mm-hmm. keep having cooler cars, different designs, stuff like that. Um, and like I said, it's nothing against it because maybe one day I'll watch it. But yeah. to go to the movies to see it, I'm, no. I'm, I'm good. I'll, I'll wait. I I'll, I'll wait. So, you bring up going to the movies. I feel like personally, that's kind of the only way to really watch Fast. Yeah, to really watch Fast and Furious because I don't think I would just like maybe if it was like a marathon type thing where it was like oh it's finally over let's go and watch all of them or whatever. Um. I might do it, but I don't think I, I don't think I could, honestly, I feel like the only really way to really appreciate and experience it is through the movie theaters. Like literally one of my favorite scenes from this movie was at the end where basically like you kind of see it in the trailer, but basically Dom jumps off a bridge with his car, right? But what you don't really see is where the explosion comes from. Um, or it was a dam. And then he's riding down this dam like a skateboard, right? But two big gasoline tankers. And what you see is some CGI like explosion, fire, glass, bust through the back of the windshield. And you see all the little shards and everything. And it ends from the flames to Lil B, who is the future. You know what I'm saying? Back to Vin Diesel. I. And it's all happening in slow motion. And then him going down to his arm and then hitting the NOS. And the flames turn from red to blue. And they jump off the dam and into the water. And survive bro like when i saw that i was like ain't no way like i was like bro but in a good way though you know what i'm saying it's like i've never seen anything like that like even them going to space the idea of them going to space was cool but the actual like them acting it out and it, and it happening i was just like oh it's not as cool as i thought it was gonna be i think that that was probably like the prettiest and like dope dopest scene that they've shown so far and you'll only really get to really see it in that big of screen in the movie theaters like i don't think it will come across as cool as it did if i was just watching it you know at the crib type beat but that's just me you might have a movie theater in your crib and you know never have to go anywhere (laughs) but i feel like it's best viewed in theaters which is another reason why it's worth it, bro. It's worth it to go see. Um, now, uh, one thing that, that you did bring up as far as like, you know, they can keep this thing going forever, right? Four to five more movies. Um, with Lil B, a.k.a. Brian, a.k.a. Don Turtle's son, a.k.a. named after Brian in the movie, um, R.I.P. You know, this man is a legend already. Like, we start the movie off with him drifting, whipping that jump, whipping his father's car, going crazy. 
it's like, no, you got to feel the car. I know you get scared, but look, you just got it. It was, it was immaculate and it was dope father son moment. And I was like, oh, he's already a legend, but that wasn't the scene that got me. It was a scene where basically he was trapped in Jason Momoa's car, but, uh, Dominic was able to basically save him and through filling the car, he knew the exact moment to jump out and jump into his dad's car. So, yes, Dominic Toretto, he might be half super strength. He might be invulnerable to bullets and everything. And fire. But it's not just him. He passed it down to his son because his son can fly. It was crazy. Like, it was super insane, and I loved every second of that. But it's more so the conversation that not only um, him, but Dante, uh, Jason Momoa's character, have about fatherhood and what that means to, like, have a son experience. As far as, like, Jason Momoa's character was rich. He had everything. He could ever need it, but because he lost his father, he went down this road being a villain, essentially. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that he didn't have family is a thing that, you know, basically got him to where he is now. So if that's the case, I don't know where I'm going with this. If that's <laughs> I just know it was good, but I, I thought I was going down. I thought I was going to be able to find it. I couldn't find it. But it was, it was like that. Because I don't want to sit here and try to explain the whole movie because it's more so the same thing you have to see. Um, but I don't know. I feel like I won. <laughs> I mean, if they come out with three, I'm going to say four. If they come out with four more movies, I'm going to say I win. But yeah, I'll give it to you this time. <laughs> like, you, you sound very convincing. Like it's... It's actually legit one of the better Fast and Furious movies. Yeah. Because this is grounded. And it's a lot of stuff that happens I can't explain because you have to see it. Yeah. But. And I, and if, I do agree that when you go to the theaters, it's like so. <clears throat> it's so much better than like at your house on the phone. Mm -hmm. Even if you have a really nice basement or whatever. Like being mm -hmm. in the movie theaters with the sound and other people. It's just a totally different experience, and it kind of sucks that a lot of people don't go to the movies anymore. Yeah. Uh, because I think a lot of people would like more movies that way. I feel, mm -hmm. I feel like people watch movies by streaming them, and then they just feel like it's that movie was not that good. But half the time, yeah. you were scrolling on your phone. You, mm -hmm. you weren't really paying attention. You weren't, like, in it. So. Yeah, a lot can. Exactly. Can. What? Would it be crazy for me to say that this is Fast and Furious' is Affinity War. Come on. Come on, Chris. I haven't seen the movie. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Because I have heard that it does tie a lot of the movies together. Like, I'll, like Yeah. But I feel like they really just... They started experimenting with that. Like, oh, if we add this at the end of this movie, then this mm -hmm. is the basis of this fifth movie or this is the basis of the sixth movie yeah and then like oh here's a spinoff that explains these people you know if you're gonna tie it all together for one big movie you know that's cool that, mm -hmm. that's definitely cool so maybe i'll see it to see this infinity war comparison but uh and when i say infinity war i mean like, like this is part one nah i mean like this is oh. part one so like they didn't necessarily say at the end the next movie is Fast and Furious 11. Because because we know there's another one. Like, but Chris, <laughs> what? But Chris, what? Chris, but Chris, wait, wait, wait. Let me cut. But they also didn't put part one in this movie title. So because of that everybody's up in arms about like oh fast and furious you have one job maybe they're playing the long game and it'll be fast x for uh 
finale. A long game. We have like <laughs> ten of. We have like eleven of these. <laughs> like. <laughs> What Chris? What Chris? What Chris? What Chris? They're they're definitely playing the long. They're just gonna make another one. And if if you, what you're saying, if this is technically like a part one movie, yeah. But they didn't label it part one. Yeah. They're gonna give you some small other movie or no, some. No. And then they're gonna give you part two. No. <laughs> like, like they're just gonna no. keep on making more. I'm telling you. Chris, you had to be there, man. You had to be there. Yeah, maybe. Because. Dominic Toretto was not the only one there that day when they stole the the theater. I said the theater. The um <laughs> the the um the safe from the police station. No. Hobbs was there too. And that's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. So and if you've seen it, it'd just be weird if they ended it right where they ended it. I guess it's bit blatantly. But... They will not, bro. But listen, but listen. But Fast X could still possibly, technically, be the last movie if they end they it lied in to the you. way... They, they, they ain't lied to me said yet. last ride, it's bro. not. We it, all... You have to see it, bro. You have to... I'm trying to tell you. We don't know what happened hey. to Youngins. It, it, you know, we said in the, the beginning of parlay. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm learning. Yep, I put my money on it. This is not the last movie. <laughs> There's just no way. There's just zero percent chance that this would be the last movie. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you know how they put they had Dune Part One, but they advertised yeah. it as Dune. Yeah. So like going into the movie, you was like, wait, what? Part One? Why would they do that? Or Attack on Titan finale, sure. part one, Ozark, part one. They learned their lesson. People don't like part ones. So it's Fast X and then Fast X, whatever, subtitle. That'll be the next one. But it will can be a combined thing, though, I think. I feel like that's how they're going to sell it. Hmm. I mean, that, 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 that makes sense to make the most money. Yeah. No, to make a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't win with this, man, y'all. I tried. I tried my best. Oh, you convinced me. I'm I'm excited to, to watch them. But okay. uh, I just know there's gonna be <laughs> you know like what you three know, huh? more. Like there's three more on, already on the pipeline. <laughs> I'm like the, the next the very next trailer we see from them, they're gonna say it's the last ride for real. Like all right, y'all. Oh, there's so much I want to say, but I can't. I won't. That's all I got, then. That's all I got. I tried. We did our best. Let us know in the comments how y'all feel about this, because I'm not going to say this is going to happen a lot. Yeah. But with the... And this... I mean, honestly, after this month, pretty much, like, movies are going to be coming out, like, every week. So every single week is some type of movie. We won't be hurting for for no content for for a good minute, you know. Um, but you know, you got you got any final thoughts on Fast and Furious, bro? No, I'm I'm gonna go see it. Okay. Uh, not in theaters, but as, as soon as it comes on streaming, <laughs> uh, I'll I'll watch them. Okay. I'll, I'll finish it up and uh, you know, one of these podcasts, maybe maybe on the hundred bring it back episode. <laughs> I'll, yeah. be, I'll bring it back and say, you know what, G, he was right. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I hope I hope that's the case. I can't I can't guarantee that. Guarantee. <laughs> I cannot guarantee that, but I think I think it was good. I liked it. I liked it. And I and I am I ain't talking about my score yet. But these are the times when you know. When you know. So. It's a 10 bro. Oh, 10. <laughs> no. No. Yep. Not the 10. I'm sorry bro. Not it's the must 10. See. When I say must see. It's <laughs> must see in theaters bro. It's must see. I'm sorry. Sometimes it be like that. I didn't say that for the last one though. But this is the best story and just 
the amount of lore and action and everything that happened cameos all that this is this is probably the best one at least in my in my recent memory you know what i'm saying so i had to put respect on their name and that's just that's just is what it is bro it is what it is uh chris you don't have a score for this joint so uh what you geeked about man what am i geeked about <laughs> hey we, we've done watched everything like i'm i'm actually yeah. caught up um i guess it's got to be secession i think secession has its final episode next week oh, man, i may be wrong I'm in the middle of the most recent one. Okay, okay. I, I think we're we're near the finale. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Feels I'm like super it. About that. And, um, what is it? Uh, I think around the same time next week, uh, Diablo Four drops, and I'm about to be <laughs> streaming on Twitch. Uh oh. I'm not gonna say every day. Oh. But, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't make promises on stream that just don't be happening ever. So. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna be grinding that like crazy that weekend. I think okay. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll probably be on nonstop, sleepy, mm. going crazy. But yeah, I'm pretty really excited to like go crazy on a game, and I haven't uh played a game that had so much details to learn and figure out. And uh, hopefully, it's gets good reviews coming up. Hopefully, it's you know Blizzard finally redeems themselves for the debacle of three, and um. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's going to be actually a fun time. And hopefully it's a staple that comes back on my stream. And we'll see about it. So what she geeked about G? I'd say the main thing is um, Little Mermaid. I'm excited oh to go see God, that. Yeah. That's this weekend. That's um, this weekend. And then other than that, my Thursday streams are, are fun. Um, I got, I got some comics that I'm really excited to get into because yeah. now I'm at, I'm at the point in comics where like stuff is like they're restarting. So like DC and, and that's uh, good. DC specifically is kind of like restarting their whole mythos, but continuing from like the last arc. So it's like I'm yep. in a good spot to actually get into it versus like Marvel kind of just keeps going and stuff like that. And then um, I have my other uh, books that I read too from uh, Ninja Turtles to like Power Rangers, like all the all the retro, um, not retro, what's the word? Nostalgia. Nostalgic um, books I read too because there's a lot more, there's a lot more to this stuff than I really be thinking. You know, I even got the Adam Warlock book <laughs> recently. Oh, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> so though. I can see why who who is actually supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll be able to as far as like what um in the future. So that that should be fun. Um but other than that, I mean gonna be grinding, bro. Gonna be grinding. It's summertime. Oh yeah, we back in the gym, heavy, heavy, and uh, yeah, DreamCon coming up soon. Oh, that's, that's all I got. That's all I got. You man. got your uh, what, what is it, a Nosuke cosplay ready? I don't know why you keep doing this. <laughs> I'm not hey, gonna be cosplaying, me. bro. Hey, bro, sure. I, uh, I got, I got my jackets, <laughs> and that's it. That's all. <laughs> That's all I got. I'm not. I'm not a cosplayer, y'all. Don't let Chris fool you, man. Um. Oh, but speaking of cosplay, I'm on season six of, um, Haiku. And it's finally getting to like. I mean, it's been good. It's been good the whole time. I've already said this. Is my favorite sports anime, but they just keep proving me right. They keep proving me right every single time. So, uh, I'm excited to. Hopefully finish that this week, and then I don't know what I'm gonna watch next. Um, oh. It might not even be an anime. I think I'm gonna watch One Class Piece. of '09. Nah, <laughs> not One Piece. <laughs> not One Piece. I gotta really lock in to watch that. I'm not ready to lock into that yet, though. 
Um, but yeah, appreciate y'all for tuning in once again this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed um, this little soiree or yeah. debate or whatever, whatever we could call this because, you know, we can't guarantee that we always going to see everything. And I just knew, like, I know Chris isn't a Fast and Furious hater. Like, he doesn't hate the movies. He, he loves movies. But it was just... He was like, nah, I'm not going to see that job. So I was like, nah, yeah, I got to talk about it. That was hilarious. <laughs> I was geek, bro. I was like, dang, they shut that down immediately. <laughs> so let's know in the comment section below. Uh, yeah. Was anyone thinking like me or everyone's on Team G? They, they ran that movie like, I, <laughs> I, I need it. I just need it. Ah, uh, not an itch. <laughs> <laughs> but look, man, we appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're on YouTube. Leave a comment, rate the podcast five stars on your favorite idol platforms, man. And we'll see y'all next week. Stay geeked. Peace. Radio.